Hey guys, how you doing today? So Ansel, the same company that sent me the uh, smoke machine that I did the video on, has now sent me a spark plug tester. Now I've never used a spark plug tester, uh, but we're going to take this out of the box and we're going to give it a try and see uh, how it works. I do have a variety of spark plugs. I've got some here that are very, very used, very wide gaps, and then I've got some that's brand new, and we're just going to take a look take a look at the spark and uh, see how this little unit works uh, it's pretty straightforward I've already read the instructions and basically what you've got uh, this is the power cord for it and we'll plug it in right here and then uh, plug it into the unit you open the lid you've got two places where you stick spark plugs in and then you've got a control here that's basically an RPM control. So it starts off at about 500 RPM, goes up to 6,000, and uh, creates the spark on the spark plug. So first let me show you these spark plugs, because I don't know if they're even going to work in this because of how eroded they are. These were out of a Jeep Wrangler that had about 250,000 miles, and you can see this outer electrode or center or uh, side electrode how how eroded it is now with that one in mind take a look at this one you can see that on this one the center electrode is eroded now these are the same spark plugs out of the same uh, vehicle and the reason that they're eroded like that there's three of them that the center electrodes eroded there's three that the outer electrode is eroded and the reason for that is this is a waste spark system so Two spark plugs fire at the same time, and when they do, you've got the spark on one that jumps from the outer to the center, and then on the other one, it jumps from the center to the outer. And uh, depending on which way the spark is jumping determines which electrode is going to erode first. So we're going to give these a shot just to see if they're even going to spark in this. Now, the Jeep was not having any misfires, believe it or not. Even with these plugs being so far eroded and that much gap, uh, they were obviously still sparking because the Jeep still ran great. I just pulled one out to take a look at it, realized how eroded it was, and ordered spark plugs and replaced them. So this is all you got to do. Now, it tells you to close the, the lid, and that's just for safety. But I'm going to keep it open because, obviously, we want to be able to see the spark. Um, and I'm just going to turn it. I'm going to start it off on low. And we've got a green light. I can hear. I can hear some sparking going on. Can't really see anything. It's faint. But I can hear it. Let's crank it up. Okay, I see that this one here is trying to spark. And it's, you, well, I saw some sparks on this one too. There we go. That one's trying to take off. Now, I don't think whenever you crank this up, I don't think you're giving it any more high voltage. I think it's just uh, causing the, the frequency to increase. Hopefully, you guys have been able to see that. I don't know if the white, I don't think the white does it any good. Can you see that? I just out of curiosity, I want to take this one out and we're going to see if just with one end, if it'll allow this one to spark. That one is sparking. It is firing. I just can't. I can, I can barely see it. You're probably not going to be able to. When I stick a piece of paper in there. You... So. 
So, I mean, obviously these spark plugs are very, very worn and you would not want to use these in, use these in an engine. And this would be a good little tool to take a look at these to see if they would be reliable enough to put in it, put in an engine. Now here's one that's not in too bad a sh well, I say it's not in too bad a shape. It's it's eroded too quite a bit, but it's not as bad as the others. So let's try it out. You can see every now and then it'll it'll have a spark going from the porcelain over to the side electrode. Clearly those are unreliable plugs. So here's some brand new ones. Let's give them a try. This is a, uh, what is this? This is a Denso U-Groove spark plug. And when they say U-Groove, you might not be able to see it, but right here on the side electrode, it's uh, it's got a little channel built in it. So first we'll put it in so you get a side view, and then we'll take a look at the front view. Let me turn this sideways so that you can see it better. Now that's a good that's a good sparking plug right there. A six thousand RPM plug's not having any problem at all firing. Now, obviously, this is not under compression, so when it's in an engine, you're going to have compression. Okay, now that's an interesting spark. Let me turn this sideways so you hopefully can see it a little better. That's actually, it's got two sparks going on. That's pretty cool. See those two sparks? Hopefully the resolution's good enough and the focus to where you can see that, that that's got two, two sparks, one on each side. And it's a nice and wide spark too. So that U, U channel, or U groove as they call it, seems to be a pretty cool little design. And like I say, this, you know, since these plugs are not under compression, um, compression will make a uh, make it a little harder to throw a spark. Now this, oh, what was this? Well, this is shown to be an NGK, but I've got it in a champion box. This is an NGK Iridium. So let's stick it in. We'll take a look at the side profile first. Then we'll take a look at the front profile. See how that sparks right in the middle? That's pretty much a uh, what I would consider a normal spark from a spark plug. Let's take another side profile. It's a lot thinner than the U-Groove spark plug. Let's see what else I got here. I've got some more. Oh, let me put this one back in. Okay, first we'll try this Platinum. This is an NGK Laser, Laser Platinum. Look at that. See, it's just jumping. 
to one electrode. That electrode's probably just very slightly closer to the center electrode. And of course, you know how electricity likes the path of least resistance. So I'm not really thinking that these four electrode spark plugs really do a whole whole lot. I can see a very faint spark jumping from random uh, electrodes, but the solid spark is jumping to the same electrode. And these were the, uh, what they call laser platinums, the NGK. Here's an NGK iridium. Just your typical looking iridium spark plug. Kind of shade it. Hopefully you can see that. Got a nice, nice good spark there. Crank it down. There's 600 RPM right there. You can hear it. It's hard to see, but you can hear it. There's 6,000 RPM. Anyway, this little tool seems to work okay. Of course, you can do two at once, you know, like we did at the start. But SP02, I guess, is as far as the uh, part number. Bottom's, bottom's just a little bit warm, probably a transformer in there. But, uh, yeah, nice little tool if you want to check spark plugs, see if they're any good. And it's a really inexpensive tool also. Anyway, Ansel Spark Plug Tester. You guys take care.